I'm remaking a very basic hair shampoo using three different surfactants, a thickener, a moisturizer and a preservative. We're going to start with the water face. It's going to be 56%. Our first ingredient is a anionic surfactant called sulfoxyxinate. It has good degreasing power but still being mild, we're going to add 15%. Our next ingredient is cocoa betine, a coconut based surfactant, amphotheric type, has good foaming and a bit of thickening properties. We're going to add 15% as well. The third surfactant is polyglucose, a non-ionic surfactant, very mild product. We're going to add just 5%. The next ingredient is PEG7 Glyceryl Cocoa 8. It's an emollient and a moisturizer, coconut based. That will give moisture back to the hair. We're going to add 2%. Then we will need a conditioner so it will leave the hair slightly conditioned and we're going to use the Quaternium 31 which is a good detangler too going to add 4%. As you can see, the shampoo is still very thin, so we're going to add a thickener, a liquid one that's really easy to use, we call it glucose tea. Only about 2% is needed and it will thicken really nicely. To show you that and we stir still quite liquid but now it becomes really nice and thick and by now it's really really thick already it's beautiful so once these ingredients are really good mixed We'll add a preservative and we're going to add a very effective preservative but still a mild one. It's called phenoxyethanol sorbic acid. This is a blend and we're going to add 1%. Again, we need to mix these ingredients well. Consistency is still perfect. Slow, flowing. It's not whitish, but it will clear overnight. And it will actually look like this that I did earlier that has a really nice flow, it's clear, looks just perfect. Now we have to test the pH to see if it's in a, in a good pH range, skin friendly between 4.5 and, and about 6. So we're going to dip a piece of the pH indicator strip into the shampoo and compare it to the scale. And it looks like it's probably around 4.5, so just a good pH for this kind of shampoo. Basically, this is finished, but you can add certainly your favorite scent. We have different ones that if you go on our website, for example, Mangosteen is a very fresh one, White Peach and Ginger. We have Coconut Lime Verbena or Pineapple Lily is a really nice one too. 
so they can be added at the very end and then all you have to do is just package it uh, put a nice label on and um, your nice hair shampoo is just finished <laughs>